We have brought into studio ESPN.com golf reporter Jason Sobel, tied for 44th at a course that he has just absolutely owned. His worst season debut, Jason. How do you define this weekend, especially after the, the, the promising signs that he showed at the end of last season? And he really did, Michelle. At the end of last season, he showed flashes of being the old Tiger Woods that we had seen for so many years, and yet he came to Torrey Pines and he looked like a guy who just needs some reps. He needs to get more tournament work in. It's stuff that you can't work out on the range. And really, the problem is twofold. He doesn't have his confidence right now, and he's not hitting the ball or putting the ball the way he wants to. Now, both of those things come hand in hand. It's a little bit of a catch-22. He's not going to gain that confidence until he's hitting the ball he wants the way he wants to. But until he hits the ball the way he wants to, he's not going to get the confidence back either. You just touched on it, and of course, Tiger hasn't won since 2009. Uh, you just mentioned how beneficial it would be for him to ditch the practice range and enter more tournaments. How likely is it that Tiger would do that? I think he should. I really think that he needs the reps. He needs more tournament play, but I don't see it happening. Tiger Woods is a creature of habit. As we've seen over the years, once a tournament is off the schedule for Tiger, it doesn't come back on. And we've seen that in so many instances from Riviera, a tournament that was the first place he teed it up on the PGA Tour as a teenager, to other places where once he takes it off the schedule, it doesn't come back. And he may need some more tournament reps right now, but uh, that's not the way he goes about things. And to borrow a familiar phrase from Tiger, it is what it is, and it's going to remain that way. Well, it's really interesting. The headlines across America today were wondering if the PGA Tour could rate without Tiger and without Tiger succeeding and being as dominant as he once was. Shockingly, I mean, to many of us here in the newsroom today, the ratings went up significantly this weekend from Saturday to Sunday, and Tiger wasn't even close to being a factor. What did we learn from that this weekend? Well, I think what we learned was from 2010 that we have to look at this thing with a glass half full. If you're the PGA Tour Commissioner Tim Fincham, you look at it and say, okay, Tiger Woods isn't winning tournaments, but what we've done is create other champions. We've gotten all these other players who have either caught up to Tiger or Tiger's fallen back to them a little bit. But in either case, there are other players that people are interested in watching right now. Phil Mickelson, of course, is always a huge drawing card, but Bubba Watson has a, a ton of fans out there. He, he's a big time player. He's a Ryder Cup where he now has two wins. People like to watch him. They like to watch guys like Nick Watney who went really low on Sunday. And, and I think that this new breed of players is really bringing out the fans and it's going to help the ratings too even when Tiger isn't playing his best. I might be even more shocked that we got through a segment without asking when will Tiger actually win. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which Me is too. what we did a lot last season. Yes we did.